Hello, sports fans. I'm Ralph Luck, and welcome to RVing with Luck. I'm lucky in many ways. I'm a blessed man. But today is a big day, and to let you know, I'm enjoy. I'm blessed because I'm outside enjoying this wonderful weather. Tomorrow, I have my second and final doctor's appointment in the area actually in the city of Goodyear, Arizona, which is one of the cities in the West Valley. Tomorrow's that appointment, which means afterwards, after driving the bug there, I come back in the bug, hook up the bug, and we hit the road. Now, this will start our journey towards Texas, for sure, maybe Louisiana. We're gonna be pretty much going along the I-10 eastbound and we might hit the Gulf of Mexico to check out some uh, little uh, beach weather. So tomorrow's a little bit of driving, not much. Again, knowing me, I don't drive more than an hour or two and then it's time to park. It's just why I put my body through that since I'm in no hurry to get anywhere. However, today is actually a more busy day, I would say. I am going to check all the fluids in the RV. I'm gonna check all the fluids in the VW. I'm going to inflate the VW tires to the proper pre pressure. And I'm gonna head over to the Planet Fitness and take a nice long shower. Oh, and I have to finish what I've got in a rough draft right now. My video that's gonna go on to Life Redesigns YouTube channel. I'll tell you more about that later, but it's gonna be a three minute video I'll be shooting today, which is basically a little bit about myself and a summary of the channel. And they're gonna kinda highlight me. So pretty excited. The tough part is saying what I've gotta say without reading the script and yet not rambling like I am now. <laughs> so let's get started on the uh, fluids. Remember, check the transmission fluid of both vehicles they need to be running for a good probably 10 minutes to get that fluid warm. The neat thing about being out here in this area is it's close to Luke Air Force Base. They are trader, they are trainers of fighter pilots. That's one of the Air Force jets going now. Definitely hear them. To me, that's the sound of freedom. Luke Air Force Base is located in Glendale, Arizona. Just several miles in that direction where the fighter jet was headed back. All right. Oil was good. Filled up the windshield wiper fluid. Behind that is the antifreeze. It was good. Back there is the master cylinder, which the level's good for the brake fluid. And you may ask, where's the transmission fluid dipstick? Guess what? This 2006 VW New Beetle, the bug, does not have a transmission dipstick. The only way to get to where the transmission is, is to remove the battery and then underneath undo a plug and look at it from there. It's ridiculous. So I already checked the oil, transmission fluid, after the engine ran for about 10 minutes getting it hot. I did have to add about half a quart of tranny fluid, topped off the windshield wiper fluid, and checked the antifreeze and brake fluid. All good. But you may ask, Ralph, why aren't you checking the tire pressure in this? Well, because I don't have a TPMS system on this. I need to get one. And I can't get to the inner rear back two tires to even check the pressure. It's a dually on the back here. So I give them a good look and a good kick and we'll pull into a discount tire somewhere in the next uh, week and have them check out the tires. So here's my uh, tire pressure compressor that I carry in the car at all times. Very inexpensive, very basic. It's by HyperTuff. It's on Amazon. If so, I'll put a link down in the description below. 
and uh, I've only used it for auto tires 30s and 40s I don't know how it would do on the RV tires but it's very handy and here's my TPMS system tire pressure monitoring system so I guess it's just TPMS equipment is what I should say it's got a solar panel on the top so it charges the battery constantly well whenever there's sun and it's by TimeMate. I'll also put a link in the description below it's very inexpensive not bad the only pain is you do have to take off the caps on the air nozzles to inflate but again very inexpensive and it's pretty accurate within about a pound so on my way to Planet Fitness to shower man I took the wrong way this is the shortest according to Google Maps when this light turns red, this is where the 303 freeway dumps down and turns into a, a street. So, uh, got to get over. But it wasn't too bad. Man, they were backed up for a mile, but luckily the lights here are great. Goodyear's a really well-developed city. They really plan everything out. Well, this is one I've never been to. I think the last time I was down in this area was several years ago, and there's been major developments since then. And this is one, so I'm hoping it's pretty nice. Let's check it out. So apparently it's been open about nine years, and uh, it is five o'clock, so a lot of people here. So fresh, so clean. And I found out I'm three minutes away from a Carl's Jr. And normally I don't eat out, but I'm in the car, I'm three minutes away, and I thought if there's a good burger place, not Burger King, but an In-N-Out or even a Carl's Jr., I gotta go. So that's where I'm headed. I can't help it. It was right in the same parking lot. Way there on the left was the Planet Fitness. We got a big strip mall. And now time for some double burger and fries. Oh my gosh. My weight's gonna go up five pounds for tomorrow's doctor's appointment. Great. Would you like to make that a large? Oh well, I'm fat. That was one delicious superstar burger. Oh, and I ate the fries just on the way back to the RV. <laughs> It's just about pushing uh, close to bedtime. I might let her out one more time for an hour or two. Even if she's out three hours, it's okay. Uh, but I put catnip on her scratching pad and she's liking staying inside dealing with that. That's gonna do it. Gotta get ready for my doctor's appointment uh, tomorrow. And after that, hook up the bug and hit the road. At least an hour south, heading towards Tucson then east to Texas, and who knows where after that. From Ninja and I, we bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, smash that thumbs up button. We really would appreciate it. So go out there, be positive, be nice, be active.